okay okay good day everyone welcome to episode 3 of the free training and this particular episode will be talking about in fact to be about me analyzing the currency pairs for you guys okay now first and foremost i'll like to thank you guys for you know taking our time to actually want to watch this video want to know what i'm actually here to preach about and i know you guys could be doing any other thing right now but you know you chose to watch this video and i'm very very grateful or to be in this training very grateful so you see this video i'm going to be analyzing all the currency pairs that I actually trade all of them and for now i'm actually just trading currency pairs i don't really look at other assets like stocks or indices i just focus on currencies and just few metals all right but first and foremost before i begin i would love to actually talk on a few things before i begin analyzing so number one i want to just talk about is what i I think I talked about in the previous video. It's about consistency. You see, I, I preach this to my students each and every time I have opportunity to talk to them. Or I always preach it to myself that the the battle or the what I say the goal of every trader is not just to win one trade and start claiming that you're a good trader. This that no. The goal of every trader is to win consistently, to win one trade, win again and win again and win again and win again. Even if you close each trade with 50 pips, if you're always closing all your trades regularly with 50 pips in profit, you know, you're better than someone that's gained 100 pips and lose 300 pips, lose, maybe gain 100 pips today and lose 50 pips in the next four days making it losing like 200 pips in next four days collectively lose win something like that you're actually better than someone that actually chose like that consistency is actually the key for us and that is what actually differentiates between the successful trader and an all successful trader so again i love i love to use this medium to announce this once again don't trade on a live account till you are good consistent on demo on your own i mean on your own maybe probably you can take my signals and the way you know man you can take signals if you trust the person that's actually delivering the signals to you and you know that this person is actually very good if you know the person is actually very good and you trust the person's analysis you can actually take signals so long as you have a very good money management plan to back you up if you check my signal room, I'll normally I put a particular money management plan for everybody there. I put a particular money management why, why I suggest about so you talk about risking just ten percent of your account and I try to explain how you can go about it. Though very 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 soon I'll be putting a video on my YouTube channel where I'm going to be explaining or I might upload it on just my te or the telegram to so be able to be explaining how to how you can actually get collect signals from signal providers. But the thing is just it's not just about collecting signals from signal providers, it's about collecting signals, good signals from good signal providers because a lot of signal providers out there might not really be consistent as they actually supposed to be. So when and they charge a lot, most charge two hundred dollars per month, some one fifty, some hundred. I think the least I've seen is like fifty or so. And when you pay this amount of money to get signals, you just get scrap as you don't really get the kind of signals that you're expecting or you know, you just it keeps hitting stop loss and keep closing the, the loss every time and it might not really be good for your trading career and you might be feeling pissed all the time so but on your own when it comes to you as a trader only do not trade live until you are consistent in demo test yourself in demo i suggest test yourself in demo for like two three months that is why when i talk when someone wants to pay for my mentorship i normally tell them that but the reason why my mentorship is i normally i put it the price it is and at the particular time like six months and one years uh, 
I want to explain something to you guys. Forex is not just it's not just me teaching you the strategy. It's, it's not just let me put it like it's not just learning the strategy. Cause a lot of people I, I I I've got some DMs where someone is asking me to just please can you just teach me that to your entry strategy? I just only I only need that. It's not just about it. I can actually tell you my entry strategy and leave you alone and you still not be successful. I'm telling you the fact. You will still not be successful. If I tell you my entry strategy, what about my exit strategy? What are you going to do about it? Hmm? What are you going to do about it? Because you cannot just enter a trade without you having a plan on exiting. Whether you are exiting with a loss or a profit, you must have a plan. That is why people use stop loss and take profit. So in case that going to end with a loss, this is the kind of loss I'm going to end with and then I'm going to end with a profit or close with a profit, this is the kind of profit I'm going to close with I'm not against that, that is actually very very cool and good and a very smart money management plan so as I said, don't trade life don't trade on your live account again, you know, someone, someone, you know, I'll be getting a lot of messages like seriously both on Telegram and on WhatsApp and even on Facebook, but on all platforms. I've gotten a lot of messages where people tell me, you know, talk to me and share their previous ex experiences concerning Forex with me. And to be said, so so touching and bad. What I've actually, what people actually told. You know, let me tell you something. You know, a lot, a lot of Nigerians love. We love, we love when people tell us what we want to hear. We don't like to face reality. We love when someone comes and tell us, tells us, ah, this, as in, that particular thing we want to hear. We want to just, just tell us what we want to hear. We don't really want to face reality. That is like in, is a national problem in Nigeria. You can't, Forex is just like a profession. It's just, it's just like, it's just like a course like med be you to just like saying you want to be a medical doctor or which other course, you want to be an engineer or it's just it's a profession. And that is why people are making money from it. If you want to even learn some low income skills like let's say like babbing, that's not really a high income skill. Will you learn it other three days or one week? <laughs> or sewing. I have a friend currently that is actually you know she's actually under a tailor, she tried to she's into fashion designing. She's been there for close to a year, I think a year and three months now. She's really good on her own, but she's still, you know, she's still practicing, trying to learn some new things. I think she signed up to like two years with with her teacher or mentor or whatever. So I don't know if all all these other skills you spend time to learn learn the, what that makes you think first is different. What makes you think forex is actually different? You know, you spend so much time to learn skills like barbie, sewing, you know, all of all of that skill. Even catering, even for you to learn catering in a catering school, I think in a, at least six months. Forex is not just about you have to learn, you have to understand. You have to know how to apply, you have to know how to think, and you have to practice. My mentorship is not a joke. When I want to mentor, when I'm mentoring, when I'm mentoring my students, I want them to get the best. I want them to actually be able to stay on their own. And that is the reason, if I, if I was just any other person, I could just, you know, hold classes, like, just classes anytime I, anytime I just, I could just put, put it online, advertise it. Price action class, three thousand or four thousand naira for one week, and people will especially show up, and people will pay, and I'll teach, teach, teach you price action. But it's in that as I told you in the previous video, price is about perspective. There are more than like there are more than hundreds of ways to look at the market. So uh, some people have actually DM me, telling me about the way they trade, trying to know prove that they're that successful. Sometimes I ask them, are you successful? You see, I. I, I my next question is when I ask you, are you successful? You say, my next question, why are you not here? Why do you not need me? You know? 
if you are good enough, you are good. Don't don't need, you don't you don't need me your your life because you're already making money. I'm here for those actually finding it hard to make money. No. Just just sad that so many platforms that introduce forex to people give them the wrong impression about forex. It's so very bad. And it's happening. It took me two years to actually learn how to master the forex market. Two good years to know how to trade the forex market. It wasn't a one day journey. I know how much I spent. I know I'm just like everyone else. I paid money to wrong people. Though I didn't really lose like some people here. Look, because I've had a lot. So it was somebody, I've, somebody told me here that she lost close to five thousand dollars. She lost close to five thousand dollars. Someone here told me, and I think because if I when I when I try to talk. It's as if I'm trying to, you know, it's as if I'm trying to condemn a particular company, but I'm just trying to state the obvious, you know. With I market, let me just mention you got I market. She said she paid, she actually paid, um, I think, she said she paid the entry fee. She stayed with I market for like, I think she said for three, four months. She paid the entry for 100,000 and started, you know, paying the monthly fee. The first time she funded the account with help that five trades will help her to fund it and everything, help her to raise the money thanks to their, their signals. It blew. Funded again, I think she said she funded the first time with $1,500 $1, or so. It blew. Funded now now with $1,000. People have money in this country. It's blue again. I think she does it after the last one, last one thousand dollars or so that she now got fed up and just left everything. And according to her, I really put her in a very, very bad financial financial situation because she was actually looking for you know like everybody looking for ways to just do a little business and increase the money. Only for it to destroy her or destroy her financially. So we have to be very, very careful. And that is what I'm here for. I'm, I'm sure I'm here for not just people that might want my services or people that I'm here for everybody to give both new people an insight on, on understanding of how the market works. Forest market is not, it's not a day's job. You can't learn forest market so as in quickly. It's not a day something or one week something. You have to spend time. You have to spend not even when you still even when you actually master the market or you understand you have a discipline you have to still practice that discipline even when you go live you are still practicing you know i send this few signals here these are signals to you guys and you know when we, are going to, when we actually get to that particular pair when, I, when i'm analyzing I'll, I'll say something about that pair i learned something from that loss let me show you that even i as over as, as, as i'm mentoring people i'm still Learning, I learned something from that loss. So that is what that is what the forex market is all about. You know, I don't want you guys to come in with the wrong perspective. If, if you know you can't dedicate time to learn, or you feel that this is too confusing, it's too complex. If I'm to tell you, I'll tell you that with me, the way I break things down for my students, the way I break things down for my students, they find it very very easy to comprehend. I'm not just trying to market, I'm just trying to state the obvious. That's the fact. The way I break things down for my students, they find it very, very easy to comprehend. But if you feel that, based on what you are seeing, based on how the charts are, it's something that is too big for you, that you feel that, no, I, that you can't really understand it, then don't, no problem. Just, just forget about, forget about it. Forget anything for us. Everything not for everybody. So people want to say everybody cannot be a doctor, everybody cannot be an engineer, everybody cannot be a lawyer, everybody cannot be a singer, everybody cannot be a presenter, and since everybody cannot be a, a forest trader. It's not for everybody. Go and find your calling. Go and look for your passion. For me, this is my passion, and I find my passion, and I'm here for people that actually find this as their, as their passion. 
So if you don't have passion, if you gamble three times to learn, then you don't need me. Take your money and go and find your passion and invest it some in your passion. You know. So in this video, actually, before we go to the request panel, I'll be talking about some things. You know. And also, I'd like to tell you guys in the forex market, forget, <laughs> forget the fact that I call myself the market maker or whatever, whatever, or the big bang forex or my brand name of my brand or, you know, I haven't forgot. Let me, yeah, or the big bang forex or whatever, you know. Forget, forget, forget that. <laughs> no. No strategy in the forex market is on is hundred percent. Who the biggest traders? The biggest traders around the world, they still lose. No, there's no trader in the world of forex that doesn't lose. You must lose. It's part of the game. It's how you can manage your losses and the winnings that makes you professional. But is it about is if you think that maybe my strategies, maybe my entry strategies I'm talking about, that strategy that if you learn a strategy you never lose. It's a lie. You will lose. Once in a while, but once you understand if you understand the forex market and you understand the concept behind it, and you understand how to go about it, you understand the discipline, you understand you master the strategies, you be able to manage your account such a way that you can grow it, despite the losses and the winnings. You know, there's no strategy at 100 percent. You have to just pull out at the back of your mind. So if you feel that coming to me, you will, you will win all your trades. Please don't come. Now I will tell you about. Let me talk a little about price action. I won't be talking much on this because <laughs> it's very very deep. But let me just talk a little about price action. The way I use price action, eh, I normally focus on reading the candles. So this is I, I I normally focus on reading the candles. And when you have to be a long term trader, especially when you have to trade the daily time frame, you have to learn how to read the candles and understand them. You have to really learn how to read the candles, you know, and understand them. And in the daily time frame, price actually in fact, in all time frames, let me just tell you, because candlesticks are important in all time frames, whether you're a short-term trader or you're a long-term trader. Price action in candle in terms of candlesticks, price action is not price action until the candle closes. You never don't trade a moving candle. Never. Don't ever trade a moving candle. Don't ever trade a moving candle. Don't say ah this candle is going up, this candle is going up. Let me let me let me trade, let me trade. Let me trade, let me trade this candle is going up. You lose. Let me give you an example. Okay, look at look at this particular. Look at this particular candle here. This this one here. Did it open somewhere here? It opened here. But went high. Now imagine if you were on a buy when you saw the candle going up and you're on a on a, on a buy. You see like this candle is going up. The car, it would have just gone up, maybe it got in here, it all gone up like 40, 41 pips. And you would have been faked out and you'll be out of the money. And you can see how the candle closed. Went up to this high and actually closed here and went down afterwards. So you actually get your buyers on where the market is going after the candle closes you know so that is just that about price action i won't be talking deep about that because if i want to begin to talk about price action now <clears throat> you normally know, if it takes it takes me and my students up to like two weeks to actually finish as in it's really for them to really grasp what price action is all about it's very very deep it's like one of the most essential part of forex it's not the most essential you know so as I said before doing how to treat the forest market you need to devote your time to it you need to devote your time to it if if you you can actually how would I think you can actually learn forex on your own but as I told you before it will actually be faster with the mentor but if you want to try to learn your own I won't say it's impossible but number one you have to get ready to blow accounts because you have to do a lot of experimenting and it's going to take a lot of time 
But if you have the right mentor, it's actually take less time with the right mentor. As long as your mentor is actually a good person and someone that is good enough and has you at the back of his mind, like has you are, you are like you are like his priority. Uh, it's actually be faster for you because see as a as a right now as a as a trader there are so many mistakes I've made that my students will not make. That's why I'm a mentor because I've really made those mistakes for them. They can't make those mistakes again. There are so many mistakes I made as a trader that they will never make because I've already warned them about it that see I made such such a mistake in this particular condition. Don't make this mistake again. But when you also to their first of your own, you have, you have to make all those mistakes. Nobody will be there to warn you. There might be some moves that you like to take and you might be a bit confused. And the mentor that someone that is experienced the first, but I've already seen or experienced that kind of thing before. But do not be able anybody to warn you. You have to just endure that mistake and bear the consequences. And if unfortunately it's on your life account, then your money is gone. You know? I, I still tell people like, it's better if you have like five hundred dollars for that you want to use to trade. It's better you split it to two, use two fifty to get a good mentor that will mentor you and keep doing two fifty to trade with to be sincere with you. Because if you put the whole five hundred dollars in the market, you would know what to do. You blow your account. You keep closing all your trades in the loss, 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 loss. Because when the market goes. 300, 400 pips in your favor, you don't know where to get out. You won't know. You just be leaving to go and until you begin to retrace and you don't begin to get you don't get scared. You also know where to enter the market. You know where to enter, you know where to enter, you know how to enter, you won't know anything. You just be confused. Just like in, in normal business, why 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 buy a product? Okay, let's assume that this is a business now. Why go into a business that you don't you know nothing about? Why? <laughs> Why are you just going to a business you know nothing about? Let's assume you are in the line of um, provisions, you sell provisions, you sell bon vita, you know, conflicts, stuff, stuff like that. And you have no idea about how electronic business works. You have zero idea of how electronic business works. And you just, because here there's money in electronics, you just shifted to electronics. You're, there are many mistakes you're going to make in that business. So many mistakes. They want to actually make in that business because that is not your line. That is not your line. There are so many mistakes you're going to make. I remember going to agriculture with a friend, with some with some group of friends one time when I started a agricultural business. Huh. We lost money. I personally, I think I lost about I lost about three to four hundred thousand. We didn't know anything about agriculture. I think. It was a long story, shall it was due to a government, a government palaver, a government promised us that they will help us, you know, all those governments promotion or some stuff like that. Something something like that. You know. In this very government now, you should understand. They said if you go and farm they'll support us with money and all those stuff. So we decided that since we just uh the little we're risking is our time, so we went into it. With zero knowledge, do you think we knew? Uh, and we think we planted rice. Do you think we knew about agriculture was maybe the basic things about? We didn't know that when you are going to agriculture, you should look at the political aspects, how the country is. We forgot about Fulani Hesman. Hmm. You want to know? I, I, I've, I've, I've actually been a victim of Fulani Hesman. They ate our farm. That was back in I think two, three years, ago, three, three, four years ago. You know, but assuming we were actually. Lose for someone that was actually into agriculture already. We didn't really, we just, you know, like, ju just like the people who that introduced us to agriculture was just like, if you assume them like high markets, you know, showed us, told us about how profitable it is, you know, and we were so excited to jump in. And the fact that they were saying that government will help us with loan, we didn't really, really, that was actually prompted us. And government said we should use our money first, then later we'll be giving one of 220,000 naira each person. So I was pushing my money, hoping that even if it doesn't work out, I'll still get my money back from the government. The government didn't give us anything and full and anything does with us. But imagine if I had a very, very good mentor, a farmer that has experience in farming and that we consulted. We would have told us 
about what things we should actually think about and why we shouldn't really go into the business. And it will have saved, saved us money. Okay, collective we lost about close to two million. Now imagine if we just paid you no know, for a maybe a farmer and a space farmer paid him like like two hundred thousand. I said, sir, please come and put us through since you have experience in this thing you are doing. And he told us about this that we should have known. We won't have lost that money. High says we won't, we won't even invest. We just forget about it. And we would have just lost 200,000. Maybe 200,000 would have just gone. But because we just went to do this on our own, no, we went to we are, we are students, we, we are knowledgeable, we are educated. We lost money, close to 2 million. Yeah, personally, we lost close to 400,000. So, I'm not sure to market anything, but mentorship is very, very important. But you just like, one of the problems is just choosing the right mentor. Which I've told you guys that you want to choose a mentor. A mentor, number one, you should be promoting for consistency. You should be promoting consistency. You shouldn't really be promoting a lifestyle. You should be, in fact, you should present first as a profession to you. And you should also have. A kind of free training or analysis training where he actually explains forex to you, to you, so you can actually understand his perspective and know whether you want to actually trade like him. Like I tell people before, I collect money from anybody. I like to explain forex to you the way I see it, so that when you now see forex that way, you can now decide if <coughs> if you want to trade the way I do, or you don't want to. You know. So, to be sincere with you, mentors are very, very important. They're very, very important. Now, let me now give you guys a little bit, a little bit of, a little hint of some things that you might not know. Now, a lot of you guys that have been seeing people that take small accounts, maybe like hundred dollars to like five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars in maybe two, three days, in less than in just a few days. And you might be very very excited, maybe things like that drew you to the forex market. But let me tell you something that the forex market, eh, trading works with ratio. It works with ratio, and if you understand ratio in maths, you know you understand how ratio works. It works with ratio and so are more of like variation. Now let me show let me show you something. Let me show you something. This is Now, you have hundred dollars. You have hundred dollars, and you now say maybe you, 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 you want to trade. You want to take this hundred dollars to a very very high amount of money. You now say okay. You saw a particular trade. Maybe based on risk and reward. Maybe you you now say okay. You risk fifty pips. To get maybe 100 pips now you use 50 pips now because you want to gain so much at the at the go you now decide to trade at 0 0.2 0 0.2 that is two dollars per pip 0 0.2 two dollars per pip now risky 50 pips you're risking your whole entire amount of account to get 100 pips now let's assume you succeed in the trade, the trade goes your favor and succeed. Two dollars times hundred pips will give you two hundred dollars. Yeah, what's that? Two hundred. No, sorry, three hundred. Because two dollars times hundred pips will give you two hundred plus your initial capital hundred will give you three hundred. I'll cut your account to like three hundred. Now, in each trade, they're always risking your account, your entire account to get. Because you have to build it quickly. You do the same thing. Maybe when it's at 300, you see how that trade I like. And it's like the same 50 pips you're risking. Then you now decide to trade at 0 .0, 0 0.6. 0 0.6. 6 dollars per pip. Risking the same 50 pips. And you gain 100 pips again. 100 times 6 dollars will give you 600. 600 plus three, initial 300 will give you 900. Then your account is at 900 dollars. In just two trades, your account is at 900 dollars. 
Now you do the same thing again. You can see that you actually multiply your account actually increasing by three. Hundred times three, three hundred. Three hundred times three, nine hundred. Nine hundred times three. The next three, nine hundred times three will give you two thousand seven hundred. And you can actually do this like in a day, like in two, three days, or in less than one week. And now you're right at $2,700. And you can use your entire account again. And $2,700 times three will give you about $7,200 or so. Am I, am I right? $2,700. $2,700 times three. Okay, that will give you $8,100. Let me put that at about 8100 Now, you guys have the capital of $100. You have actually been able to take your account to like $8,100. In very, very few. All this can happen in less than a day because if you just get 100 pips, you gain 300. Get another 100 pips. 900. Get another 100 pips. 2,700. Get another 100 pips. 8,100. Consider that you are actually increasing your account by. by 2. I mean by three, and now you can at eight thousand one hundred. What about if your guy is at now at eight thousand one hundred, and you now decide to do the same thing again with the whole entire account? Because it's a pay ratio. Now note that only one trade that will hit stop loss, you have lost all your capital. You just need one trade to hit stop loss, and you have lost everything that you hustle for. And most of those other shows that they're like that, they might do this kind of thing now. Take the account to eight thousand one hundred, and be video video it, video in it for you. Now you see it, the man try it again and they lose all your amount. Don't upload it. They just they just stay where they are. But I've really got what you want to get. Your interest. You know to you're not like how how this how, how this person do this? How this person do this? You know? Eight thousand one hundred dollars. How this person do this? You now go and pay to learn. And and the person now gives you his course and you now begin begin thinking that you're making that kind of money is such a small amount and maybe after a month or two over less than a month sometimes you try to go live you feel that you have learned all the tricks you try to go live and you now start with $100 hoping that you get to $8,100 in less than a week or less than two weeks and you blow the account lock us on your side or maybe you, you did the first time and took it to 300 then you try the second time and your account is blown for your supposed to work with ratio that's why consistent people consistent, you, don't, you don't risk your entire, your entire account on one trade because you're working with staying in the market for so long. Now imagine if this hundred dollars is, is your last card, you don't have any other money. And you do that I do that same thing and you you maybe take it to three hundred, you take it to nine hundred and you now lose all your capital, you hold nine hundred. That's why I preach consistency over all these kinds of trading styles. That's why when I see if you see any trader that advertises himself like this, run, run for your life because if you try this kind of thing, it might not work for you. Who did themselves? They have they, they do it this thing I'm doing. They do it. They try it almost every week, so that they can use it to urge people to pay by their course. They try it almost every week. They they are good at theories and all those stores, but before you do actually try one, they might have lost like six seven hundred dollars. Sometimes even like their initial capital. They might, they might have lost money before they would actually get. This that's why most of them they don't know they, they won't show you the hundred dollars initially. They won't tell you look at I have hundred dollars. Let's see where this account will go to in next one week or two. They won't show you initially. It's when they have actually done it's when they have actually done so. They do not start telling you, hey everybody look at in my video from beginning say look at this hundred dollar account, let's see how much it how it goes. Then you see the video immediately following the top. And now it's at five hundred, now it's at one thousand, you know, stuff like that. I hope you guys are getting me. So this is not how I preach the forest market to my students. I want them to be consistent. I want, I want them. If you take a if you take a trade and trade your trade increases your account by twenty percent, maybe from hundred to one twenty. You know, this is how I, I train them. Let us assume your initial account is. Let me use. Yeah, no. Let us assume your initial account is hundred. You take a trade. Now your trade is at. It gives it gives it gives, it takes it at zero point zero one, and it gives you two hundred pips. 
and so you give you twenty dollars. Now twenty dollars plus hundred now you're at one twenty. Because you are working up with consistency, you can take another one again under two hundred. Maybe like a week or two later. Now you're at one forty. You might lose one. Maybe lose this particular shape. Now you're back to maybe like like you lose like hundred pips. You're back to one thirty. You win another one, you're back, you're up one fifty. My way down that way, you're up 170. After like two months, you might see yourself that like you're up 200. Then when you get to 200, you can now increase your volume size to like 0 0.02. This 100 now is like, this 100 is at 0 0.01. 0 0.01 lot size. After that, you are now at 200. After you can now increase it to 0. Point Can I go to zero zero point zero two? The way you get it, you see that you know, you know that you get to three hundred faster because I've increased your volume. It might take you up to like one thousand pips to get to two hundred from hundred, but before you get to three hundred, it might take you like five hundred pips. After five hundred pips, you see yourself at three hundred. At zero point zero one, at zero point at zero point zero two. And you can increase to your losses to 0 0.03. Slowly, it might take you time. It might take you time, but slowly you are building your cutting and you increase your consistency. And you see yourself lasting in your market. You don't have to, unless you have other money that maybe you don't want to save in the bank. You prefer to just since you can trade, prefer to trade the money. You cannot add more money to your first account. But if you don't have any money, you can say that you are actually managing your money well. It might take maybe your your dream capital to trade it might be ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars. It might take you time, but one day you get there. And when you get it, you become balanced. Imagine ten thousand dollars giving you three thousand dollars every month, or two thousand dollars every month. Even with the losses and everything, I know how much I made this month from the market already. Even with my loss, though my this this USDs are actually cut my accounts. Do one of my accounts because I have several accounts. You are caught but I know how much I will still be getting the profit from the forex market this month. I don't need to tell you because it doesn't really concern you because it's my money. Even if I tell you it won't I won't give you the money, it's still mine. You should learn to work for yours. It took me years to actually master forex and begin to end like this. So it's not here it's not about about bragging who has money more, who has money more than who who or no. The issue is just about giving you the perspective and giving you the right knowledge of how to trade. You understand? So please let's be guided. Now, I'll also explain market movement to you guys. I'll also explain market movement. Oh, before that, <coughs> somebody actually sent me a message and told me I should explain, do a special class on price action. Like, okay, I think I talked about that before. Just to, he said. I should do a special class on price action. The thing, and I will still say it again because it just got to my mind, got to me. The thing is that uh, even if I give you a, a, a very, very good like background, I, I do a one week coaching just to, or two weeks to teach you guys price action, it will help you because it's not just about price action, you have to learn other things related to forex. You have to know everything that combines to form a particular strategy that you now use to conquer the market. Can I just learn one and leave the other one? You can't. I can tell you my entry strategy. I can read my entry strategy to you guys now. And you try to combine it to your old strategy that maybe you haven't promised your entry. You might decide to combine it to old strategy and it won't just work. It won't just work. You understand? So, when you to learn first, it's not about, it's not about attend. You don't attend one class. If you, if you hear that this is a presidential class, don't attend. This support a resistance class one and then no. Look for one person that will teach you everything the way he sees it. And learn from him. And become successful. Because as, as I tell you, it's about perspective, it's about the way you look at it. There are so many different so many successful traders in the world. If you call all them together, they look at the market differently. There are some that are fundamental traders, they don't even think technical, they just follow fundamentals. And are successful. The most important thing is that you are successful. That is the most important thing. 
you understand so i feel i've actually answered that person now the next thing also i want to talk about is i want to talk about support and resistance i want to talk about support and resistance now support and resistance is like when i say for me for support and resistance is forex support and resistance for me is forex so that way for is about the market move from more support for support to resistance resistance to support support to resistance resistance support in all time frames in all time frames if you go if you go to the one minute you go to the one minute it's the same thing What do you want? It seems you can see the market. This top, this resistance. The one minute, you can see this support. Market was a support. Went to resistance. Came down. Come down to support. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back some few minutes ago. Now the market. This, this can. This can be like. Okay, this. This can. This is a support. The market trended upward. Even the trade, you can see that that was means market trend going up, rejection, so resistance coming down, support going up, breaking the previous resistance, hitting another resistance, coming down to support, going up again, hitting a resistance, coming down to support, breaking that resistance, going up again, getting to a, it's all support and resistance, and that's what makes the market move in, move in waves. That is what makes the market move in waves, support and resistance. In all time frames, going to the five minute, the one hour, every this you can see here resistance come down to support, went up to resistance, broke it, retested and came down to support, went up to resistance. This is all the market does support to resistance, resistance to support. That's all the market does. And to join support and resistance is very very let me let me let me show you a particular diagram. This is how I normally explain to my students. This is how I normally explain to them. I love to explain like this to them. Now look what the market does. It goes from this, you can see from this particular, this is support, goes to resistance, come down to support, breaks this resistance, goes to the next resistance. Maybe this resistance was too strong, it hit it back down to this support, usually support. The market might go again, hit this particular resistance. Now use this previous resistance, you can see this particular level. Now use this previous resistance as support, break to and if it's in an option, it can just be going like that. Maybe going like this hit resistance and let me let, let me just explain how up op, an option is to you guys. Let me just explain. Let me just explain what an option is. Let me just explain what an option is. This was an option. Just follow me. This is what an option looks like. Market maybe might hit this resistance, come down to support. Hit this resistance, come down to support. Hit this resistance, come down to support. And just that. That is what an option and a trending market looks like. And that's how it moves. Now, let me show you how what a ranging market is. Or, oh, I don't think this is necessary. Um, the ranging market might, like, might be like this. The market might go from this support to resistance, come down to this particular support, use this as resistance, come down to this support, break it and go to this resistance, come back to this support. Just between these two points, understand? 
go back to this resistance come down to this here use here support come here to this resistance break it this is like what a raging market is and this is this characteristic is for all time frames all of them but why you use the daily time frames that they work more on the daily time frame and that's the main reason why I trade the daily time frame they work best on the daily time frame So that is just that because someone actually asked me to explain market types or types of markets, ranging market, trending markets. You want to check the. You want to you can see that from here to here, the market was trending downward. What, what, what do you use the market do? This was um, resistance. The market came down to sub support. Went to back to this resistance. Came down. I see how an object is now came from here this is where the trade started this is where the main trend then the downtrend started came here to this support hit resistance came down to this support somewhere here hit this previous support this is that resistance came down here to this support use here as resistance came down here to this support use here again as resistance came down and you can see that came down here to this support then it drove all the way down here to this resistance and came all the way here then when they got here it started a new trend and this is how the market works but a lot of even, even in this is what is supposed to teach you in new in, in a new trend in new fresh this is what is supposed to teach you not Telling you, give you a three day seminar or two day seminar, and telling you, do you know you can make five million naira in with ten naira in less than one minute before it's with, with, your, with your cell phone. And just to let you guys know, if you want to, when you want to, when you want to learn forex, well, learn you can actually learn with your, just your cell phone. You know, you can just with your cell phone and just learn. But we actually going to go professional into it. Yeah, I tell, I, I tell some of my students that. I teach that just don't have a laptop that join join when we are teaching I I don't want to tell them that you can use your cell phone today but when you are ready to go really go professional into it I'll suggest you just get a save a system. So during the time they spend with me I just tell them to just save money anyhow to get a save a system because to trade your own I tell you you really need a system. A laptop is very very essential. But many of them will tell you I market to tell you that it's your phone that you <laughs> see I'm only mentioning I market because it's not just to condemn them or anything. The other they're doing this for me, for me, is, is really, really bad. And only people that have actually been affected can testify. I was almost affected. But a friend of mine was actually affected. They are giving people the wrong impression about Forex. They are giving people the wrong impression about Forex. So that's that. So let's move on to the currency pair analysis. I know many of you may, might be bored, some of you might really be happy with the information I shared just now. Some might be saying, ah, this guy just get this analysis, let us see what we are doing. <laughs> well, let's get to the analysis. So as you can see, my charts, my pair depends on the average alphabetical in alphabetical order. So let's just. Let us get down to business. Okay, so currently we're in the AUD card. Today is Saturday, so the market is closed. That's why I just decided to do this video today. We're in the AUD card. Now you can see that first and foremost, let's consider the market in the big. Let's look at the weekly. You can see the. In the big picture, the market is kind of ranging, though it's in the kind of downtrend in the weekly. It's the kind of downtrend. Because since it broke this particular level, since it broke this level, I think it has been following this kind of downtrend. Yeah, it's been going down. It has been trending, trending downwards. So let's go back to the daily. So that's the market is kind, is kind of in a downtrend now, we, we, we know that. But where's the market? Let's let's look at. Can say that price is actually at a strong. So let's check 
change the color to magenta. Hmm. Where's that? There's a strong support. Let's go back. I see how strong this zone is. You can see. You can see here the market came here. You see as resistance. This level as resistance came down. Went and broke through. Came down. You see as support and went up from here. You can see how high it went. So I said this level is actually a very very awesome level. About one thousand two hundred pips from this level. You can see the very this level is high. This level is a very very strong level. The market is always respecting this level anytime it comes across it. Always respecting this level. Always. You can see. So this is a strong level. I would say another thing I like to look at. I know this is that sometimes sometimes like the market might actually be respecting this trend line. I noticed that too. Initially I pulled one here before, but this is that. Like the market is not really respecting this, so I just did it. But this is a bigger picture because the market came from here, we traced to this point. So it's possible that one day the market might actually come to this to this trend line, actually still come down again. Because since the overall trend is down, you know, since the overall trend is down, it's possible the market might come up to this level and still go down. So, but for now, I'll be looking for a buy here, I'll be looking for the market to go up, but as usual. For my students, they actually know the entry strategy, strategy I use to get into the markets. But for you guys, this is just what I'm saying. Wait for your own signal to get in. Wait for your own signal to get in. This is what I'm seeing though. I'm looking for a, the market to go long. So let's go to AUDJPY. Hmm. Hmm. It's like all the AUD pairs actually trending down. Well, let's. Ah, this is a, this is an obvious downtrend. No, in the, in, if you see, if you look at the big picture, you can see that the big, very very big picture is that the market is actually ranging. You can see the market has been ranging. This is the, as in we're looking at the big picture, the big 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 picture. The market is actually ranging. But for now, we'll just be looking at what we're actually seeing. You know. Let's look at what we're actually seeing. I see the market has been going downward. The market has been, has been trending downward a, a bit. I don't know if the market. Let's just see. Let's see. I can't really say the market is respecting this level. This I can't really say. Let me see something else. Might actually in the downtrend, but I'm not sure really we're expecting any trend line. Can't see, but you can see market was once here, went high, came to this point, and now it's it's at it's at this point. That is that is that. Let's just see it like this. The market is actually right now is at the a resistance. The resistance at this point. The resistance. So, if you are to ask me, I'll be looking for the market to actually come down. You know, I'm looking for the market. Since it's, 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 it's a strong resistance, but to change the color of this, let's say back to line. You can you can check how strong it is. I'm very very pretty sure that that level will be strong. I see, it's a very strong level. It's a very strong level. Very strong level. Hmm. It's pretty strong, bro. This line, you can see, back in 2004. It's a strong level. So, I'm looking for itself. This particular pair. 
Whoa, man. Hey, you this Swiss franc. Oh. Wow. Hmm. All the other pairs are actually in one kind of. Okay, market might be respecting this. Market might be respecting that. Market was once as this support. Can see from this support, it went high, very high to this particular resistance. Before it came down to this support, and now it's approaching this resistance area. So, I'll say watch this particular level. Let's see what market does at this zone. Can see it's actually struggling to get there, but I'm very very confident to get there. So, watch that level. Let's see how the market reacts to it. Now, to just watch that level. AUDNZD. This one has been ranging. Actually, actually took this pair. <laughs> that should be. When that one was that? When was that? I actually traded this. I think I got it somewhere here. When I left, I think I left this market at 300 or something. Pips. Yeah. I think I left this trade at 300. I closed this trade somewhere here. I was thinking the market would come down. The when I got into this trade, I. I closed somewhere here and I went for a sell. I went for a sell, but the market has passed. The market actually, I closed and I closed out. I gave, I think I gave up out of us 50 something pips back to the market. It happens, though, it happens. It's, it's one of those things. <laughs> but let's look out what we are actually, let's see what we are looking at. Right now, you can see that the market. Go to this level and could not break this level. It also be a strong level, and we traced and came down to this particular support. Then it went up again, came down here and couldn't break the support. I'll be looking for the market to come down to this level, to this particular zone. So, if you are buying this, be careful with a very good volume size don't give yourself give yourself enough strength even if even if you are trading with a particular volume where it will take you about 100 pips or 300 pips to actually be margin cord is good at least before you actually lose up to that amount you actually know uh, no I, I, I have to I have to I have to take I have to take my money or take my loss the way, the way it is you know, so this is Let's up watching this up. We hope I'm looking for this market to actually come to this level. In fact, if if the market maybe gaps down, maybe opens somewhere here. If the market opens somewhere here, or we chase it to somewhere here on Monday, I will take this trade. I will take this trade. That's that for AUDUSD. AUDUSD. Well, <laughs> I can't release it for this pair because I, I just took profit on this pair. I profited about. I closed somewhere here, so I profited about 100 pips on this pair. But. Mm, this is an obvious downtrend. I'm very sure it's to be respect. Ah. A very obvious downtrend. Whoa. Is in a downtrend and it's like it's respecting that descending resistance. This trend, like this descending resistance, it's like it's really respecting this level. And don't also forget that price that this support before before we took it high, to this high. And right now, it came to this particular resistance and it's falling. So, it's possible that it might fall to this level and maybe from here go back up again. The funnel is already coming down so. And you should also watch this level. This is also another level. The market can choose to just come down to this particular point and move up. So if the market, so let us just watch the market. If the market 
If the market comes down, breach this zone, then it will be coming to this place, to this point. And when it comes here, we'll just watch how the bots, we'll watch for price action and how the market reacts and we'll know what to do from there. So if you want to actually trade this, just be aware that it's actually approaching another strong level. Let's change this color, see how, the, how strong this level is. Let's change it back to magenta. Hmm. You can see here. It's actually a strong level. You can see here. You can see it's actually a strong level. So you just watch watch for it and let's see how the market reacts to this particular zone. Do I'm, I'm I'm expecting more this candle to close bearish. To be bearish. I'm expecting more this candle to be to be bearish. Ah can't Swiss Frank. It's been a bit long. I traded this pair. I think last time I traded this pair was here. Where I bought and I took it. I closed somewhere here. I think somewhere here also. It's been really long. I traded this pair. I've not really seen another opportunity to trade it. Mm. It has been ready for for 2015 till now. It's about 16, 17, 18, 19, about four years now. So it has been ready for about four years. Oh man! Wow! Can I just put one here? See that that's been raging for about four years right now. Coming from here to this level, to this level, dancing around. So it's been raging for about four years, and now. Now the price actually approaching, approaching. That is actually approaching support. Or is a owner support and resistance. Sorry, is that, is that resistance? Hmm. So let me look at this. Wow. I won't be surprised if the market breaks this zone. I won't be surprised. Be looking at how the candle closes. I won't be surprised if the market breaks this zone. And if you break this zone, the next place we be looking for it to come is here. So I won't be surprised if the market breaks this zone and comes to this point, you know. So let's just this are another strong level. So let's just watch the market. The market is actually currently here. So the market can actually break this zone next week. Maybe I don't know. It might not do do, do, that, do that immediately, but it might actually break this zone and come to here, and we'll see how it reacts. But based on how the candle closed today. Or yesterday, I believe the on Monday or two, between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, this one will be broken and it will be heading, heading north. Card JPY. Hmm. Card JPY. Card JPY. Man. Man. Last time I traded this pair was the time I traded this card switch from Do. That was the last time I traded this pair. Close with a little profit. I think about 200 or something pips or so. Not bad. Ah! Okay, let's, let me see something. Let me see something. Okay, uh, you can see the market actually bounced from this level to this level, so it actually broke through. As since this breakout, I think it's it might actually be going to this level. The market might actually, well, should actually be going to this level. But this is the next, I think this is the next strong zone we have that the market should actually be looking to go to. If we go back. Yes, but you actually see see that, so there's no need. 
And Maga actually taking his time to go to this particular zone. Because Maga has moved. Look at the moved though. It's looking for here to hear about 270 pips. I think when I took my own trade, I took how many months ago? Because I, I, I got in on the, after this, this candle. And I closed out somewhere. Okay, it was up to 200 pips. So I think I closed it about 160 something pips or so. No, just watch this zone. Make the market to get here and let's see how the market reacts to it. Since Frank, I actually missed an opportunity here. This is one of the opportunities I actually missed this month. I didn't, I think I don't know sure I really checked the market that day when this candle was formed. After this candle was formed, I'm not sure I, I know as soon as I saw this, I would have bought this pair now. I would have bought it. But you can see that the market actually went up to this high and right now, in a way, it's trading down. Although it's looking as if it has broken out and like an option that started, I started from this point. Is like an option that started from this point. So then kind of tired. This is an well and it's, it has really broken this particular zone. So if it has broken this zone here it may then I will look for the market to be coming. Let's look at this points this actually this area is actually very very strong looking okay, very strong look at the looking at the consolidation that, that happened here so it might actually just come down to this point and still move up just retrace to this point and still move up you know you might also come here give us a signal and move to this particular and probably even break this level so let's just watch it let's just watch the markets I actually come down. I come down to this zone. So let's just watch it and give us a better opportunity. Probably. Oh. Ah, man. Man, we have to just. I have to finish this. I have to finish this. I'm actually finishing. I'm feeling very very tired but let's keep going, let's keep moving. This is U A U D. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine my perspective in this Looks to be expecting this particular ascending, su ascending support, the trend line. The market looks to be expecting it a little bit more. And when the market actually came to this particular resistance, it dropped down. So in this particular, all I can see here is that the market is actually actually running out, running out of space. You can see the market is actually expecting this ascending support. At the same time, respecting this resistance, so it's actually well out of space. So it can be expected any time for the market to either break this up, this particular zone, or break this particular zone. So if you break sale, you're looking for a sale, and if you break sale, you're looking for a buy. So let's just leave the market. I think, I, I think that is why maybe that is why it's actually consolidating because price knows is now actually out of space. It's, it's like it's trapped. It's like price is trapped between this resistance and this ascending support. Like price is trapped, something like that. That's how I like to see it. So let's just watch it like this. Your card. Uh hmm. Ah man. Hmm. Market actually be 
training downward in the way but it's actually approach, approaching a strong support that will be here so it's actually approaching a strong support and this level looks to be very strong because it's this level is kind of strong it's a good level it's a good level in the market I might actually approach it here so let's watch this one and see whether the market can give us a signal for a buy here this is what I'll just say, watch this zone the market can actually come down to that zone and to this zone and just go up from there or it could just break, it could break the zone you know, we're not the one, we just allow the market to show us what's going to do and be we react to it that's how, that's how I trade the market that's what we do here at the Big Bang Forest Academy we allow the market to show us the way and we just follow through or follow suit. Hmm. Yours is wrong. I'm not trying to stay on this trade. I'm still on this trade about. I'm still about 100 and something pips in the morning. I don't really have any reason to leave this street, that's why I'm still in it. This was a very, very strong level, that's why I got it. Very, very strong. I don't think it came down here again, but but it's a strong level as I got in so, so when, when I saw it like so easy that's particular price as support and seeing how many times it actually bounced from that price I need to I need to eventually go up that's actually got him. No. So, you know, the market look, looks to be struggling to break this level currently. Let's see here. Looks to be struggling to break this level, and if if, if I see that it's still finding how to break this level, I might just take my money and and close the trade. But if you break this level, the next level will be looking for the market to come will be somewhere here. I'll be looking for the market to go up to like 300 pips. If it breaks this level, but if it doesn't break this level, I'll just take my money and we'll look up, we'll the market to show us where it might probably go next. So next is your GPP. Oh man, I was actually freaked out. Not because Actually, I have a principle in trading that anytime I'm in a trade and I don't really know what's going on, I just stick, I just if I'm in a loss, I just stick my loss, and if I'm in a, if I'm in a gain, I'm gain, I'll just take my money. That is actually my principle. So for this particular trade, I, I, when I got in, I got this one got in somewhere here. I think uh, this candle, I didn't really know what was going on again. Because when I saw this trade candle, I was expecting the candle to go up from here. At least to this level before any other reaches me, but based on the high it reacted, I didn't really realize that, but it's all good. So, price actually at this particular support is actually a good level, it's actually a good level. Here, yeah, it was it served as resistance. Here, you can see, served as it's a good level. So. And anytime the market is a support, you know, you look to buy as usual. So, this 
so this is another level that is strong and this is also another level this is also another level that is strong so okay, i think this is the reason why maybe this is why the market is actually finding hard breaks too so you guys are actually consolidating yes yeah, consolidating in consolidation so personally i will still be looking for the market to go up but we'll wait for a valid signal before we actually get in we'll wait for a valid signal before we get in but right now just have it in mind that the market is a support and a buy opportunity is actually a buy is actually possible from here your gpy Well, the market is actually at this descending resist resistance, and it's also at a strong, it's also at a, at a, at a strong support, um, strong resistance. Sorry, strong resistance. Well, the market can actually, might actually fall from here. I won't doubt that. It's probably the market can actually fall down to this particular support from this point based on the fact that the market has two like it has two zones to break it has to break this descending resistance and it also has to break this resistance but no the market can actually just get here and you know consolidate a little bit and still fire up so before you get to this trade, as I so just tell you, wait for a valid signal. But the market looks to be more the odds that the market will, that we come that actually looks to be um, let's just look. I'll be looking for the market to come down though. I'll be looking for the market to come down based on the way the situation is. You will knock. Euro no. Hmm. Last time I think. Huh. Man. Last time I posted from this pair was here. When I got in here. I think I got somewhere here. I closed down here. Or oh, here. I think I closed down here also. That was the last time I posted from this pair. But as you can see, remember this trade, we actually got stopped out here. We actually saw this trade. I got it somewhere here and hoping to go down, and it didn't go down. And now, currently, is oh, let's just say, Let's look at this level and see if the market. I don't, I don't know that if the market has gotten to this high before. Okay, almost. The market has not gotten to, to that high before. So it's actually at, I at the, the highest high. So I can't really see much. I can't really talk much on that level because this is like the first time since. since 18 or 19 years that the market actually gets to that level so i can't really say much about it we'll just watch and see how the market reacts to it it could just come up and break it or it could just come back here and still look for itself and come down so let's just watch but for now this is actually a very important level where the market will come here and actually give us a reason to go down it will be going down to this level So take note.
Next, we have low NZD. We have the low NZD next. Oh. I actually got out of this tree because of this engulfing candle. This white engulfing candle. I actually got out of that tree when I actually saw that engulfing candle. You know. Because it's somewhere here, we now have to close that to tell us. something people so, so but it's all good as profit is profit is profit as long as you make profit it's, it's good so okay I see the market was trending upward God came here came. I said another kind of trend. I don't know. My just put, let us put a light here just in case. Let's look at the future just in case. Anytime the market comes up to that level, maybe it might give us an opportunity next year. A long term opportunity. But for now, I see the market has been finding it hard to actually break this zone. It came here to this one, touched, came down here, went here again, came down to this point, went to this one again, couldn't break it, came down here, and now it's going up to that zone again. So let's, I'll, I'll be looking for the market to come to this zone and let's see how it reacts. And if it's to come down, maybe it will be coming down to this particular level here. So let's just see how the market, what the market does. The market might not really come up, might just go up a little, might not really touch it and still come down. Maybe this might be a retracement, you know. So let's just watch the market. Let's watch this zone especially. Alright, let's watch that zone especially. Hmm, you're sick. U S E K. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, the market is actually in an uptrend. The market actually is an uptrend. And I think Okay, the market actually is an uptrend and is looking to be respecting this zone. It will look about a month or two, I don't know. Let's let me see. Okay, market could actually be expecting this zone too. So. Oh, I think this is the last um, particular pair that give you money one time. I think in the time of that, my that my US is that trade. This pair, I close that. Actually, I close that somewhere here. I close that somewhere here. I'm protected from this pair some time ago. Um, let's see. Let me see how strong that's this resistance. If it has gotten here before. Okay, it has gotten here once. Hmm. Came back. Came to this point and went up. You see as resistance. This level is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Ah. And for that level we came down, it actually broke here. Broke here and 
till now. So we really can see I can really can see what's what is what is because after this particular pin bar more like and this particular bullish candle it might actually be returning to this point it might be returning to this point because this daily support there's other support to watch for here you can see when you just touched here just rejected and went up so it might actually be coming up to this level so it might actually be coming up to this level so so that's my bias on this pair it might I, I, I'm looking for it to buy Hmm. You Turkish lira. Man, this pair, this pair, this pair. This, I, only, only professionals trade this pair. Only professionals because this pair is really, really fast. It's fast. Like I don't know between this pair and GBPNZD which one is faster. But this pair is really, really fast. Okay. Okay. It has been in a steady uptrend for a very long time and when it got to this point it got tired and it came down to this level and now it went to this particular high came down to this level and went up came down again and fired up And you can see that there's a gap here. And I, as I told you before, I told you guys before that the gaps serve as strong support and resistance. And you can see that you can see that we price actually go to this gap. You can see that it treats here as resistance. So price gaps, as like I said before, serve as good support and resistance. And it looks like the market still has potential to go down. It could, see, it could actually come here and use it as supports before going up. So, so I'm actually looking for the market to come to this level. Looking for the market to come to this level. Before going up, no, we don't. We can't. We can't see the market has the right to do whatever it wants. But let's just wait for the market to come to this support and let's see how the price reacts to it. USD. USD. Hmm. This pair has just been going down little by little, you know. Ah. Ah. Okay, it looks like price to respect this particular descending resistance. You know, the way price got here and decided to come down. And though it, this was this is just a very, very, it's just a, a strong level two in a way. So the market is really coming down. Though there are other levels that the market can actually, you can see the is another strong level. Market can use here support. If it breaks there, it can actually use here two hearts support. If it breaks there, it can actually use it here. So let's watch these levels as the market proceeds to the proceeds downward. Let's just watch this level. The market can actually use any of them as support and move up from there. 
Let us watch these levels. It's that simple. Ah, user. Another fast pay. Very, very fast. Wow. Market seems to be supporting using this as support, ascending support, this particular trend line. And the market has made some kind of touches at strong levels. Yeah. Somewhere here. And as you can see, the market actually is actually approaches another level that is strong. This particular support. As the market actually approaches here, so we just wait for the market to, you know, to get to this level and and give us and see whether it will actually go up from there or it will break and still keep going down. So I just say watch this zone. Watch it. Let's see price action at that level. GBPAUD. Man, we are now in G. GBPAUD. Oh. Mm. Man. Time right now is like 11 minutes past one. We keep moving. Hmm. It could, be, it could be respecting this particular ascending support. It could be respecting it. I also know that the market came up to this level. You can see now. It's possible that the market might be using here as support. It's possible, but this has to actually has to be is a, is a strong level. But it's possible that the market broke it. It's possible that the market actually is is it as support and we still go up. The market could still go up or it could just come down. Whatever, but I'm looking for it, it looks more likely to go up. And there are still other points where it could go, it could go up to this level. Let me put this level here. That is about 200, 200, 200 pips. So there's still potential for the market to actually move up. But let's just watch. Let's just watch. Uh, Keep moving, keep moving. I'm really, really tired. I don't really know how long with me today. I'm really, really tired. Today was actually a bit exhaust, exhausting. I just decided to do this video because I just wanted the crazy panels to be on. If we don't join the weekend. That's just why. If not, I could have done this since. I wanted to be done during the weekend. Whatever, whatever, just watch this zone. This is where I would advise to watch. The market has potential to actually move up. GBP card. Mm. 
Let me tell you guys the story of the GBP card. Let me tell you guys the story. Oh, is it even necessary? Is it necessary? This is one of the pairs that actually made money when I said trading. First, when I learned to trade the market, I remember this trade I took the market and I closed out here. I think this was the first time I made 300 pips in my, in my trading career. This was a color pair. See, yes. And I was very, very, oh, no, no, no. I, I celebrated this, this trade. <laughs> I celebrated this trade. It was actually my former screen. Um, Wallpaper, my laptop was. I've actually changed it, but it was performer wallpaper. Actually, you screenshot it. I had a screenshot of it. No. Then, you know, you know, in the life of every trade, at like the beginning, you might be like, man, I'm just not to cash 20 pips in a day, I'll be okay. Just 20 pips with like $1 per pip, I'll be getting like $20. And that kind of feeling, but when you understand the market, you see that someone getting. See, you see possibilities in even getting 300, 400, 500, even 1,000 pips in one move. You see, you see the possibilities because now you understand the market moves. So, for now, let's just... Uh, this, this, this didn't work. Okay, the market got to this particular support and fired up. And currently, it's at. Hmm. It hits this. It hits this particular resistance and now it's coming down. And we asked me the market coming down, so I will suggest this point. You could come down to this point, it will hit this particular level before going up. Now, as usual, I don't just assume, I'm just trying to tell you what could probably happen. You don't assume you will. You wait for a signal. Now, as soon as I understand the, my entry, entry strategy, I have like, in the entry strategy, it contains about two, three rules once they are met. Conditions to just get to the market. No, nothing is the bank, nothing is 100 percent but at least it gives us a higher aim. To give this our odds against the market, you know. So we just watch this level. If I could come down to this level and go, cool. Oh, my pay, GPP Swiss franc. The reason why I like this pair is that, uh, apart from the fact that a standard lot is $10 per, per pip, it's not too fast, and in fact, it's fast and slow. I, it's not really extra too fast, but at least it's like it, the movement is moderate. It's in there what attracted me to this pair. Like, it's moderate, it's not too fast, and it's really not too slow. Hmm. 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 This level is a strong level too. This level, this level is a strong level. Strong level. And currently, the market is kind of consolidating at this zone. And most times, consolidation serves as a reversal, so it could actually be contemplating coming down. And if it's good to come down, they're going to come down to this particular zone. Though there are still other levels it could come down to, like here, it could also come down to this particular level. So let's just 
let's just see, keep watching this zone and see which for our signal before we actually get in whether on the center or on the buy but I'm looking for this particular to actually go down GBP, GPY GBP, GPY uh, Oh. Hmm. You can see the market goes to this zone. Very, very strong support. Then, I'm so far that she have the ball. About 1,300, 1,400 or something pips. I actually got in on this trade here and I think I hesitated somewhere here. So, man, that's where I actually got out. Then the market retraced to this level before kicking off. So, it's probably the market might be retracing also again. Maybe coming down to this level or any other level and might bounce off from there so currently is that a strong so that is a, that's a resistance so it said it's actually very possible close to 400 pips actually possible so let's just let's just watch it could, it could still go down that's the potentials in the market that it could go down GPP knock GPP knock and okay knock uh, Wow 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 Man look at this move Imagine getting this move somewhere here and Wow 1000 or something pips This is a, this is a big move Hmm. A big move that I could not capitalize on. Wow. Well, man, I'm feeling hungry. It's like after this, I'll just go and just eat something. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no time to eat, they can eat any time. Okay, it might actually uh, is at resistance right now. I see this level is at a strong level, it's like it's at resistance right now. So, the market might, might be actually selling, or it might be actually on its way down to this. To this particular zone, it could actually be on its way down. Though, yes, this candle ended bullish, but it could actually still be on its way down to this zone. So, just let's just watch and see what happens. Let's just see how this week this week goes, or maybe it could come down, come again to this point and still hit this particular level before it comes down so whether the market is decide where it's going and if we get an opportunity quick we could just join the market on the right gbp nzd hmm. is a very fast play very very fast play this is a very very fast play Oh man, market as resistance. Got close to this point, and now it's 
kind of like retracing i don't know or going continue the trend it's possible it's continuing the trend or it's just retracing or back to this level so america might be going back to this particular resistance so let's watch it so let's watch it So let's watch that particular resistance. The market might use, might provide a sell opportunity when it gets back here. It provide a sell opportunity. So you just, you just watch that level. GBP Singapore dollar. You know, GBP SGD, GBP SGD, and GBP knock the move alike in a way. So. And that's where correlation comes in. They correlate. Before all the GBP pairs, they correlate in one way or the other. Which is why not to make big moves. So this GBP SGD what was one time at this particular support. They sold high to this particular level. They sold high to this one level and now. So let's just watch it could be coming down to this level, it could be coming down. Let's just see how it goes. It could be coming down to this level. Let's just see how it goes. Also looking at the fact that maybe we're expecting this descending resistance. GP USD. One of the signals I first dropped in the in this in the Telegram group. I also benefited from this well. I think I didn't really hold it for too long. Hmm. Okay. Went to the, got to this particular level. We traced, we traced back to this level. We traced back here. Though it, it pierced it and before it moved up, and now it got to resistance. This is also very very good resistance, and it currently is coming down. Also remember that this is also a level, so it could be coming down to this level before it could shoot up, or it could be coming down to this level before it could shoot up. It all depends on on price. That depends on price. So, watch this zone. Let's see what, what the market might do. Let's see what the market will do. Let's see. It might could actually go up from here, hit here, and still come down. So, let's just watch these two zones and see where the market price will get to first. NZD card and I in the NZD pairs. We are now in the NZD pairs. Hmm. The raw, the raw nature of the market right now is range. It's in the range. It's in a tight range, something like this. And currently. Currently, the price has been moving downward in the downtrend and it got here and tried to break this level, but it was too hard for it. 
and now it's coming down again to this level price you could use your support and try to actually finally break this level we just break here and give up you know keep sending till then so that's that for sd card That is that for NZD card. So this is NZD Swiss RAM. Please give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Hmm. Hmm. This is a strong level. Just I just close this trade. I close this trade. I think I took it. Not too much pizza. I could just about 80 pips or so. It's okay. Profit is profit. It's not every time you close my you close the trade in 3 400 pips. So go down to history. This is actually a very very good support zone. Hmm. A good support zone, pretty good. Hmm. We got kind of close to this point, and it's, it's coming down now. So, my car could actually hit this particular zone and go up, or if you just break it and come down to this level. You know, we break it and come down to this level. So that's that for SDG switch from. And if it breaks, if it comes here and breaks level two, it might probably break here and start looking for ways or begin to move higher. You know, stuff like that. So they just they just let's watch the zone first. Then if it breaks it. No watch this zone. So that's that. Here's the GPY. Hmm. Man. Hmm. The market could actually be coming down could be ready to come down right now oh uh, this is actually a good resistance zone the market could actually be falling down to this area these are the fact that the market could not break this you know you try to break it here couldn't break it and try it again couldn't break it so Will be coming down to this particular area. No, this this under this under you could also watch for this particular area. This other area you should actually watch for based on some other resistance. So that's that just watch it's already coming down so just watch this zone. NZD USD. NZD 
NZD USD. Uh, almost the same pattern with NZD JPY though. Kind of the same pattern that they are following. No, I think this is okay supporting one kind of color line. So this is actually a head. So a new. It's actually this particular sending resistance has actually been respected for some time now. Give me here. So that's that not actually use here as so support and looks to be going soon going use your support and went up then go to this resistance and was actually forced to sell and you can see now it's sending really hard and you could actually come back to this particular support and still try to break this zone again so so let's just if we break this zone, we're actually watching this zone. So if we break say, then we know it's actually going down. But it could actually hit any of these zones and actually go up. So we just let price show us what is happening. Whoa! USD card. USD card. Uh, but it's actually this is actually an that trade I think I bought it from some time ago. This particular trade. I think I bought it about. I closed that somewhere here. Somewhere here also. Uh, right now, you can see the market is actually coming to this level again. Hmm. And you can see the candles are actually getting smaller. I'll show you that it's actually getting exhausted in a way as it approaches this level. This is a strong level. A strong level. Coming from this particular resistance to this level. Well, let's just watch, let's watch this zone. Watch it. It's possible that we can actually get a bad opportunity from here. So let's allow it to get to this point first before we actually decide on what are going to, what are going to do with it. Next is USD Swiss franc. Hmm. USD Swiss. USD Swiss franc. Uh, mm, the Swiss franc is actually in the range. That's for me. Well, there have been a range, kind of tight, small range, range. Now see, Mago was also in support, it fired up to this power point. Fired up to this power assist. Try to fit, came down here to this particular support. Went high to this point, came down here, and now it's approaching this level again. And now it's approaching this level again. 
So let's just watch and see what happens. This could actually give us a sale opportunity when it gets here. So let's just see what happens. And whatever happens, we just look for ways to actually benefit from it. So I'm actually looking for a sale when it gets to this zone. Yes, the DKK. Danish Chrome. Okay. Yes, the DKK. You can see that price is in an uptrend. Okay. Kind of uptrend. Hmm. When price actually goes to this resistance, uh, you can see again. Can you can you see what I'm talking about gaps? You can see price gets to this gap and wow, 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 man. I didn't see this. I didn't see this. As you may saw this man, I would have really, really strained this pair. I, I didn't see this gap, man. Oh, uh, opportunity missed. This would have been a good trade. I already hundred and I think this currently is eight eighty thousand pips. So price goes to this support. Yeah, it's actually moving a bit. Just move higher a bit. I have to watch your levels. You have to watch your levels as timing so you can actually know where price you actually have trouble crossing or passing. So we we'll just keep watching and keep looking. What is your price is currently after this is your price it's currently. So here is the JPY. market has been bit I think it's, because you can call this a regional market it might be really need to be taking from the fact that it got here and went up Okay. Okay. And is that also at this as a, as a resistance well, for this support it went up to this resistance and it's having very hard time breaking this resistance. Very hard time breaking this resistance. So just keep watching it. It could give you a signal and you just sell. The only price that supports you buy, you look for a buy when that's a risk looking for a sell. So give you a risk to sell. To sell. For now I'm not in the trade. For now I'm not in the trade. So just keep watching this zone. And if you keep this zone, there are still other things. Just watch this zone and even if it comes I could come down to this point and you know it's like possible points where the market price will come to. Alright, that's that for USDJPY. Let's look at the peso. USDMX. Oh, 
market has been in a kind of uptrend. Kind of uptrend. Ah, uh, and the market actually broke to this ascending support. Oh man. Let's just look for price to get to this one, this put support and see what what price we do from there. That's all I can see. Let's just look for price to get to this particular zone. It's still going down, so let's allow it to come down to this level first. Before we actually decide anything on this. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's do the USD look. Okay, very quickly, prices. Price currently has support. I mean, at resistance, price currently at resistance, I think it's struggling to break this level, so you might, might be looking for a sell signal since that's resistance for this particular condition. And this other, and, it, and if it fails to break this zone, could come down to this point or come down to this point. These are levels where it could possibly come down to. Alright. So let's watch this resistance. It's a strong goal. So let's just I'll be looking for a sell at that side, at that point. Market could sell from this level, give us a sign and sell. So that is that for the USD NOK, USD NOK. Right now, at the USD SEC, while the USD SEK. uptrend for close to two years now okay the market has been respecting this particular ascending support for a while you can see the market touched it and just went up because the fact that it's actually at the strong support Support. So the market could be actually be going high, we could be going up. And if the first is going to I'll see at least, or at most, or at least here, where I feel I'm going to. So I'm looking for, I'll be, I'll be uh, my opinion on this one will be about looking for this one going up. Looking for this one going, this one up here going up, buying. That's that's for that. Here's the SGT. Hmm. Wow. It doesn't want to look like a, an exotic pair based on this arrangement. So you can see that currently price that actually is actually at a strong support. Price is actually at a strong support. This level it looks strong. Uh, 
and you really make the potentials of looking to go up but you wait for a valid signal before you get in as, as I don't really tell you guys and if it's going up these are levels you might want to watch you might want to watch this level you could come here bounce and come down here and come down box so this way this is what you have to watch as a trader you want to watch currently we are at this level and it could often be going up so for now my best is that is is a, is a buy is going up for now let's see how long it goes up now let's see is USD Turkish Lira oh man USD Turkish Lira we when you have made money from this pair when I drop the signal so it's not saying much. I was actually expecting it to come somewhere here and it looks like it might come. Though I put us our, our, our take profits here. I was going to come somewhere here. Though. So I see the markets came all the way from this point. I think we're doing from this point to here, went and this is where we are currently. So I would say you should watch this level, it could actually break. And if it breaks, and if it actually breaks this level, it will be coming here. And if it breaks, it will be coming here. So watch this level. I'm not going to really talk much on this because I'm still, I have a feeling it's actually break price will still sell below below this price so just whatever just watch this level and if price does break this support watch here and watch here will give you good resistance and support and all of everything this will serve as a good resistance and a good support and the same way this could serve as a good support so just be updated according the price is here and I don't really think it will go that far so next US is uh, the trade that broke my heart. You know, we should, well, based on the way I trade, I think I learned one or two lessons from this particular trade. I learned it to one or two lessons from this particular trade. But it's all good, we just we keep, you know, we keep moving, we keep trading. Losses are part of trading, so we just they're inevitable. So looking at the US is uh, can see that is that a good or a strong support. Can see US is that a strong support and that's also what prompted me to to buy. But can see it might not really be ready to go up. So Just let I was I would say my mistake here was that I didn't allow it. I should have allowed it to actually, you know, come down to this particular zone. I should have allowed it to actually really come down to this particular zone before actually deciding whether to buy or sell. But all the it's all in the past. Let's just we we'll just watch this zone and see what what happens. See whether we get any signal to buy. So I just say we should watch this zone and if it's gives us a signal to buy, no other zones to watch on. Ah, those are different places where you know the market could turn around from. So let's just watch this zone. Watch this zone and see if how the market will react to this particular zone. Gold. Be very long I traded this. I think last time I traded this I actually made a little loss. Yeah. Yeah, I think I traded it here. It's for a sell and actually made. But it's not part of the game. So by in gold, I look at where gold is currently. Definitely a strong level. I 
can see the market got to this point come keep here went up came here and right now it's giving signs that it wants to go so personally i'll just let's i'll still be watching i'll watch this overall pay do was let's just see what it takes or what is going how it's going to play out from this particular area this guy is one of the best dealers i've ever met sorry 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 i was actually reading reading something on my phone so watch this level watch this particular zone XAU USD, watch this particular zone. Can see price got to this resistance, came down to this support, went up to this resistance, came down to this support, went up to this resistance, came down to this support, and it's making sure that it might, it might still go up. So watch this zone, and if it's going to go up, it's going to come up to here. If it breaks there, it will definitely come up to here. So watch, let us see price action around this area but for now i'm not really trading good for now because i'm still based on where it is and its movements i'm not really convinced to start really to trade it yet again and silver moves alike you know silver and gold actually correlate so they move alike when one is going up the other is going up so it's almost the same analysis from it's also it's like the same analysis or the same prediction for me came down here went up came down here and use as consolidated and in this consolidated here before it broke out and now that's this way so silver and gold did seem to be actually both of them seem to be going up and if you're going to be able to actually have your mind ready i might go you can see it's actually it could come here and it, it could use it as resistance and also use it as resistance if it breaks this one I use it as so you have to just these are things that you have to watch out for now the last but not the least oil finally wow oil not everybody trade this pair because the least volume for this pair is 0 0.1 but sometimes if I see an opportunity I normally trade it now at one point market, because the market came here, bounced here went up, came here, bounced, went up, came here again and bounced and now it's going up and place the market my likely go to you can see here but you can actually come here and use here as resistance if it breaks then we'll be look, watching for this level depending if it breaks you do with the momentum is going at it might actually break this level but let's just watch so we watch the first level watch is this let's watch this level for oil and this is that, or uh, this is this for the currency pair analysis. This is how I look at the charts. This is my perspective in trading. This is like my, the way I look at the way I trade. I might be doing one more video after this, depending. I'll actually alert you guys. If I can, I will. If I can't, then I think this will be just be the last video. But I'll try my best to do one more video for you guys so to make it. So, so give it part four. But this is actually my perspective, and this is where I look at the market, and this is actually what has been giving me consistency. This is where I analyze the market. I just did this for you guys to actually see another perspective of looking at the market. You know, for me, the market is just support and resistance. So I don't stress myself. Market is only moving from support to resistance and from resistance to support. So why stress yourself? 
there are many things I didn't mention in this video, many things that I look at in the market that I didn't mention here, but I can't tell you guys everything, some things are just meant for my students. Yeah. But there are so many things that I didn't mention in this video. So, if you actually would like me to be a mentor, If you like my style of trading and you want to actually maybe probably you know you would like me to actually train you in this in trading long term because I'm a long term trader I look at things from a very very wide perspective. I'm always at your service. If you need anytime you need my help, you can just contact me and I'll be of help to you. No pressure, you don't need to struggles for your last cash for me to train you don't need to do it though time is money and based on nigeria's condition right now the government doesn't really care about anybody so to survive in nigeria you're on your own you know you're on your own so basically life outside forex i normally advise people to actually try and learn a high income skill whether it's forestry the digital marketing or any other high income skills. You actually learn the high income skills actually develop it and make money for yourself because if you are looking at going to school, school is already increasing poverty. People that go to school just go to school and it's only just increasing poverty, you know. School is only increasing poverty for me. So but there's no pressure, just feel free and do you as I told you before in the previous video, if you want to look for a good mentor these are things you look for don't look for results i've showed you guys earlier how you can increase your account build your account very fast but i you also saw the consequences of doing so you could take that small account to a very very large account and still blow everything so this is just how it is for me and this is how i see the market i thank you all for watching this video to the, to the end you know, in between, I was caught up with some things. I had to leave, I had to, you know. But I just thank you all for watching this video to the end. Let me just, let me, see, let me go through my Telegram. I think some people send me some messages. Uh, hold on. And I think a brother, a brother sent me a message and told me, to explain breakout. Mm. The thing is, I don't really trade. It depends on. You no, know, there are different kind of breakouts. There are breakouts that actually I from consolidation. You no, know, when it, when a particular pays the consolidation and it just breaks out this consolidation and it's also like breakout from retracement. Maybe when a particular pay is trending and. It just breaks us and stop, stop trending. I'll say something like this. So the different kind of breakout just depends on. You can see it was obeying this particular line until finally broke out. And so it depends. Some people trade this stock to trade this particular pattern only. So it's, a, it's always working for them, but that is really how breakouts work from my experience. Another person, another person, Talked about the support and resistance. To just support and resistance on the daily is not really hard. This is how you, okay. Let's let me just blank this chart. This is how you just support and resistance. Let me look at this chart now. I'll place my resistance line here. Now you don't want to you don't want to place it on top of the weeks. No, you want to place at the close of the at the close of the candle. Above the risk, look for the close and place it there. You can place it one here, place it one here. you can see how I placed it at the close. 
Let me take this at the close. You can see I'm placing my support and resistance. You don't place it on top of the wicks. You don't place it on top of the wicks. Look for the close or the open of the candle and place it at place it there. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. Let me zoom it very well. You don't place it on top of these wicks. These are the wicks. You don't place it on top of the wicks. Place it at the close. Look at the Look at the first candle. This is the way it's closed here, and this way it's open. So you place it here. It is the perfect place to place your support and resistance. And this is how you place it in all. You know, support and resistance is just turn around where the market turns around from. So anyway, the market turn around from. You can see the market coming from here when you got here, it turned around. So you can actually place one here when you got here, it turned around to this point. You can place one here. Even when it got to this point, it turned around. But the way I use support and resistance, I wait for I, I just there are many support and resistance around the chart, but I just look for the key ones and the strongest ones. That's how I that's how I work with support and resistance. So um okay, mm. Okay. Someone asked me how to calculate and trade with daily pivots. I don't use those. You don't need. You don't need to know everything about the forex market to be successful. I don't use pivot points. Uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, how do you know the trend of the pay? Is that what another person asked me. How do you know the trend of the pay? Is it pays is that in uptrend or downtrend? You know, if it's, a, if it's an uptrend, then it's making higher highs. Let's say from this level now. As long as it's making higher highs, you can see, as I told you, it goes up, retraces down, went high. Which is which is the moment so as long as it's making higher highs and going up, higher highs and higher lows. That is an option. But the situation remember is making lower lows. Lower lows and lower highs is in a downtrend. So this is a downtrend and this is an uptrend. Coming from here is a downtrend and from this point up is it's an uptrend. But every time the market is trending, sometimes the market range. See, yeah, hey, I don't know. This is something I explain to my students, but let me try and break it down for you. I try to look to look everything from the from the long term perspective. From here, if you are going to look at the hour, maybe from between here and here, this is like a might be a serious downtrend for the one hour chart. Just from here to here, my the market might be in a serious trade for the one hour chart. But I like the advantage of actually trading the one hour. You don't really see the main trend. Even in the, in the, if price is going up, maybe by two, two or three candles in the one hour, if you check the five minutes, the market is also also making like higher highs and, and higher lows. That is works on all time frames. It all comes together. You know? Look at this particular oh, let's move forward. Let's let me go back and see whether I can look. Look at this particular uptrend now from this particular point all the way to this point. All the way to this point. This is an uptrend. Make it higher. If you check the four hour, you can see how the trend is. You can see how you can see how the trend is in the four hour. You can see how the movement is. The, you can see how the movement is. Went up, retrace, went up, retrace, went up, retrace to this point. Went higher, retrace, went higher, retrace. You can see higher highs and higher lows. This is the highs, this is the lows. High, low. High, low. I know. So this is actually how you know a trend. 
higher highs and higher lows uptrend lower lower lows and lower highs downtrend so i think that is that for that next video video will be about more psychology and just life outside forex and all that but i thank you for sticking with me to this video and i tell you guys you know forex is not you want this stuff all this i'm giving you are just the basics there are still a lot of things there are still a lot of things that actually teach that you can you can actually benefit from if you wish you know if you feel that you love my style of trading and if you can make me your mentor that a lot of things i did i don't i don't see i thought i said just like 20 percent to be sincere with you everything i put in this training was like just 20 percent of what i actually share with my students there are a lot of things that, that i have not said here i can't say everything because people actually have paid me to mentor them and if i give you the information i'm giving for giving them they repeat me for if i give you that for free now i will have to refund their money back to them because it means it doesn't have value again but at least I hope I know that with what I've given you guys, this free training and what I've given you guys is actually very valuable because and to tell you the truth, what I gave you guys for free, this thing I gave you guys for free, a lot of people pay huge amount of money and this is what they are giving. So my not will give it up to this, to be sincere with you. So anyways, I would like to just thank you for for sticking with me for staying to the end this is about how many hours this is about two hours 30 minutes so thank you for sticking with me to the end i'll be calling it a day i hope you learned a lot of things from this training i really hope you learned a lot of things from this training because i really really pulled out a lot of knowledge here a lot of wisdom until the next video and uh, hopefully i'll try and do it to do another video that video will just be it will be a short video maybe 20 or 30 minutes so to the next video i say thanks for watching and stay blessed remain blessed you're all blessed so just keep remaining blessed bye bye